So I've just come out on the golf course here at Howley Hall Golf Club in Leeds. I've got myself a full bag of all the new tailor-made equipment for 2023. So I've got Stealth 2 driver, I've got fairway wood, I've got a set of the new P7 MB irons, I've got some of the high toe wedges, a new spider putter, and also I'm gonna use a tailor-made ball. Not something I've used really that much before, but obviously the PIX version here that I've got, again, which I've never used. So interesting to play a few holes here out on the golf course at Howley and see exactly how all of these different products perform really. You know, having a full bag of one brand is something that many of you probably don't have, but being able to show you kind of what each area of the game is like with certain brands products uh, will be really fun to do out here on the golf course. So let's go hit a few shots. So pretty good start with Stealth 2 Plus Driver. As you can see, I've teed off right next to the buildings at the back there. Par five, this is 16th here at Howley. Hit a really good tee shot straight over the bunker. And we found ourselves a long way up here. We've got 175 yards to a front flag here on the par five. We've got a ditch short of it, bit of green long. So wind's helping me a little bit at the moment as well. So I've picked seven iron that should go around 170 to 175 and hopefully just end up slightly past the flag. Look pretty good for direction, whether it's quite long enough, I don't know, but we'll get up there and have a look. So our seven iron that we've hit, we can actually see it's finished on the green. It's about 20 feet past the hole, so I've got to put for an eagle. It's a pretty good start with these clubs, isn't it? But I thought I'd take this opportunity to drop one in the fairway and play a bit of a pitch in. So we've got 75 yards from where I am here. I've got one of the high toe wedges. You know, I've, I've had a bit of a go with these before, just hitting shots inside and and using them in the performance center and they always feel really, really good. So let's have a bit of a hit here and see if we can get somewhere near that flag. It's obviously cut very tight to the front of the green and a little bit downwind. A little bit right of the hole, but I think it's pretty good for distance. Yeah, we'll take it. We've got about 12 feet there from, from 78 yards out. So yeah, let's get up there and have a bit of a putt. So our pitch shot from the fairway is finished here. A little bit closer than I thought actually, probably about 10 feet from the hole. But the second shot we hit with seven iron, remember from 175, we pitched it, I don't know, four paces past the flag. So around that kind of 180 mark maybe. And it's just stopped a little bit further out. So we've got a putt now of about, yeah, 25, 30 feet really down there. I must say golf ball feels really good as well. So obviously only hit a couple of shots with it, but Felt really good off the driver face, came off really quick. And also with the iron, I didn't strike it particularly fantastic, but the flight was really, really good as well. So putter wise, I've got one of the new uh, GTX putters. This is um, obviously the center shafted version in the gray and the white, still with that nice alignment on the top of it as well. Again, haven't hold it, but very, very easy birdie putt. Putter's very, very stable through the stroke, really easy to keep it on line. It feels nice and solid off the face as well. Hey, that'll do, yep. So up and down from the fairway with the wedge and a nice birdie with our first ball. So driver, seven iron, two putts, easy four. Let's move on and play another hole. So the 17th hole here at Howley, quite a tight driving hole uh, into the wind now. So I've got the Stealth two plus fairway wood set at 15 degrees, obviously with the weight fairly neutral as well. I've hit quite a lot of shots with this inside and thought it felt really, really good. So great to get out here on the golf course and put it to the test as well. Let's see if we can hit one up the fairway there and give us a chance of hopefully making another birdie. Really nice high flight. Yes, yeah, so I've seen it land. It's just on the left edge of the fairway. It may have just kicked down onto the lower level, but I think it'll be absolutely fine. Let's just hit one more. Again, very similar flight, nice high draw. Landing just on the left side of the fairway, but I think it's good again. So let's get up there and take a bit of a look as to where it's finished. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Before getting to where we've hit our two, three woods, I thought I'd try and hit one of the longer irons. Now, this four iron pretty much scares the life out of me, but I'm gonna give it a go here. So I've got 
just short of 190 now into the breeze. It's very cold. So normally for me, a four iron is about a 210 carry sort of club. I reckon 190 in these conditions is probably more than enough. But more importantly, I'm going to have to try and flight it down. Now, this is what the MB iron is all about, being a bit more versatile. It's kind of that shot maker's kind of golf club as well, but offers very little in the way of forgiveness. So let's give it a bit of a go here. We've obviously got a fairly good line into the hole. I'm going to try and keep this ball a little bit flatter, maybe try and keep the flight down a little bit and hopefully try and get it on the green. Pretty good effort. I've just started it down the right hand side there and it's not really turned in. It's pretty much stayed there, but I think I'm just off the side of the green. But one positive, it'll give me a chance to use some of these high toe wedges. So from the tee here, both of our tee shots are in pretty good shape. First one's just missed the fairway on the left hand side there, just pitched up the top and ran down. Second one's just hung on a little bit shorter. So from the tee, bearing in mind that we're straight into this really cold breeze, I've just um, bushed all back to the tee there. So this one's gone. Uh, 249 and that one probably about 255 ish something like that so pretty decent distance from a tee shot straight into the breeze like it is and we've now got a shot into the green of let's have a look 129 so that would normally be a pretty normal pitching wedge but obviously in these conditions it's very cold it's windy we're going to have to hit something a little bit more so what i'm going to try and do is try and flight down a a little kind of half swing eight iron just try and hit it a little bit lower and hopefully keep it somewhere on the green should be fairly good i think yeah it's pretty good for direction again just controlled the flight took some of the spin off eight iron there it's probably quite a good tip for a lot of you as well and you know, in conditions like this, just hitting a couple of clubs more and swinging it softer is really going to help keep the flight down that little bit more. So we found ourselves now where we hit our four iron just short right of the green. We've got the bunker to go over. So this time I'm going to have a go with the high toe 54. OK, just try and play it a little bit lower. This time I've got one of the TP5X without picks on it. So just to have a bit of a go with that. But to be honest, feels very, very similar. Again, feels really good off the face, nice and solid. And again, these full face grooves, something I've not really ever used before, but certainly in terms of the strike and the amount of spin that you get, they, they seem to perform really, really nicely. And into the wind a bit, it's not quite gone as far as we'd like, left us with a little testy one for our par. Putter feels really nice off the face though, quite firm compared to the one I use. So the one I have at the moment is a milled face and feels a little bit softer. This one with the, with the insert there, the true roll insert that TaylorMade use, feels really, really good. It's, I, I mean, the good thing about the, the center shafted one is it's so balanced. It's really easy to, to line up as well with the single alignment line and the kind of contrast between the silver and the white on the top there. Go on. Oh, right in the middle, just short, but very, very easy par on what is quite a tough hole here at Howley. So let's move on to the 18th and play a couple down there. 18th hole here at Howley Hall is a par three, a very, very tough par three at that. So you can see straight downhill, we've got the clubhouse behind the green there. We've got 185 to the flag from here, which slightly into off the left we're going to have to hit a pretty solid and decent shot i've got five iron here don't know whether it's going to be enough but we'll give it a go anyway so i'm going to try and set it off for that left hand bunker and hopefully just let the wind drift it back in because i think it's fairly strong once we get it up there wow that's moving loads in the air come on get down oh just in that front right bunker didn't quite have enough club but my god that moved a lot in the air that was pretty pure. Started off just inside that left-hand bunker and has literally moved 30 yards left to right in the air. Well, that's a bit drawn into it. Is it going to get there? Yeah, we're just on the front of the green there. Much better shot. Again, just kind of turned it into the breeze a bit, which stopped it moving as much in the air. But I still think it was probably four iron because it's playing a long way today. So as you can see, our second one's just managed to grab 
the front of the green here left ourselves a very slow uphill put into the wind off the left as you can hear the wind's really whipping up now so it's one that we've got to hit pretty firm on our line and hopefully it'll stay on that line as it goes up the green there so be really happy to get this within about two or three feet look good in the air tom oh just hit the flag and came out <laughs> you know to play those few holes and only bogey one of them is probably fairly good and to make a birdie as well is decent so let's try and get this one out of the bunker so in this bunker just short right of the green here on 18 it's a fairly tough bunker shot we're on the down slope here at the back of the bunker which is going to make it come out a little bit lower but the only kind of saving grace is we're hitting it into the wind again so that should you know kind of negate that a little bit so let's just try and play one see if we can get it out there somewhere near that flag this time got that 58 in the high toe let's see if we can play a nice bunker shot That'll do, really, really nice. Came out nice and flat off that down slope. Bit of spin on it as well. Let's see if we can save our par with this first ball that we hit. Oh, robbed. Certainly having played a few holes with all of the latest tailor-made equipment for 2023, we can see performance-wise, it's very, very good. Really like the putter, nice and firm off the face, very different to what I'm used to. Wedges felt really good. That full face groove, never used that before, and it's something that does look a little bit odd when you first look at it but performance wise as we've seen with some of the shots I've played it's very very good as well so even lets you get away with some of those poorer strikes that you hit with wedges and still maintain a bit of spin. Irons feel amazing very easy to control the flight and the trajectory and then with the Stealth 2 plus 3 wood and driver the shots I hit with those were very very impressive indeed so really good to get these out on the golf course try the entire product range from a certain company let us know what you think as well in the comments are these clubs that you're looking forward to trying this season have you already bought some have you pre-ordered some let us know and let us know exactly what you think of them hopefully you've enjoyed that video i've loved getting out on the golf course actually in some sunshine despite the wind and hopefully you'll watch a lot more of our content here on the golf shake youtube channel to help you play more and play better see you soon